In this video, we're going to learn how to convert some total number of seconds into the equivalent number of days, hours, minutes, and seconds using C. So for example, let's say we have 200,000 total seconds. What we want to do is convert this amount of time into the equivalent number of days, hours, minutes, and seconds. What we could do is take this total number of seconds and divide it by 60, where 60 is the number of seconds in a minute. What this will do is give us 3,333 as the quotient with the remainder of 20. So 3,333 is the total number of whole minutes in 200,000 seconds. And we have 20 seconds left over. That's going to be our number of seconds. Then we'll take the total number of minutes, 3,333, and divide it by 60, where 60 is the number of minutes in an hour. This will give us 55 remainder 33 where 55 is the total number of whole hours in 3,333 minutes, and 33 is the number of minutes left over. So now we have the number of minutes and seconds. Then we'll take the total hours, 55, and divide them by 24, where we have 24 hours in a day. This will give us two remainder seven, where two is the number of whole days in 55 hours, and seven is the number of hours left over. And so we have two days, seven hours, 33 minutes, and 20 seconds as the equivalent number of time as 200,000 seconds total. Let's implement this now. We'll declare variables for all these values. We'll have int total seconds for the total number of seconds. We'll have int total minutes for the total number of minutes. We'll have int total hours for the total number of hours. And so total seconds, we'll store the total seconds. Total minutes, we'll store the total minutes. And total hours, we'll store the total hours. Then we'll declare variables for the days, hours, minutes, and seconds that we're going to find using these calculations. So we'll have int days is equal to zero, int hours is equal to zero, int minutes is equal to zero, and we'll have int seconds is equal to zero. Now to find the quotient and remainder of a division operation in C, we can use the integer division operation and the modulus operation. So if we have, for example, 200,000, we can use the division operation divide by 60 to give us the quotient. So this will give us 3,333 in the case of integers. So the division operation will give us the quotient and we can use the modulus operator percent to give us the remainder. So 200,000, and then modulus 60 by using percent here will give us the remainder of 20. So we'll use these two operations to conduct these calculations here. We'll first prompt the user to enter the total number of seconds. We'll have printf and total seconds to prompt the user with the text total seconds. Then we'll use scanf to store the value the user enters into the total seconds variable. So we'll have percent %d here to accept an integer of input and we'll have and and then total seconds as the second argument to store the entered value into total seconds. Then we'll perform these calculations. So we'll have seconds is equal to total seconds modulus 60 to give us the remainder, and then total minutes is equal to, and we'll have total seconds divided by 60 to give us the quotient, where this here is giving us this value here, and this here is giving us this value here. Then we'll continue this process. So we'll have minutes is equal to total minutes modulus 60. And then we'll have total hours is equal to total minutes divided by 60. And again, this calculation here is giving us the number of minutes. And this calculation here is giving us the total number of hours here. Then we'll take that total hours and we'll have hours is equal to total hours modulus 24 and we'll have days is equal to total hours divided by 24. And again, this calculation here is going to give us the number of hours and this calculation here is going to give us the number of days. Now we can just output these values. So down here we'll have printf and we'll output the number of days first. So we'll have percent %d to output the number of days followed by days and then backslash n for new line and we'll output days and we'll do the same thing for hours, minutes, and seconds. So we'll have percent %d, and then hours backslash n, and hours. 
and we'll have printf percent d minutes backslash n and minutes and then printf percent d seconds backslash n and then seconds and then if we save compile and run the program we could enter in here 200,000 seconds and then we'll get two days seven hours 33 minutes and 20 seconds which is correct so this is how we can convert some total number of seconds to the equivalent number of days, hours, minutes, and seconds using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.